hey guys welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome welcome if you're new honey today we're going to talk about the r&b sensation jesse powell who was found dead at 51 years old so if you're ready to get into this story just stay tuned it has been announced that jesse powell has died at his home in la according to his family his sister, Tamara, broke the sad news Tuesday night on Instagram, but hasn't revealed a cause of death just yet. She wrote, It is with a heavy heart that we announce the passing of our beloved son, brother, and uncle, Jesse Powell. Jesse loved music, and he especially loved his fans who supported him throughout his career. We want you all to know that you meant the world to him. And now, Tamara has asked for privacy so her family could grieve and celebrate her brother's life. If you haven't heard any of Jesse Powell's music just yet, I did add a clip from his sister's page. Let's go ahead and get into it. child that man could sing okay not just singing not just r&b singing that man can sing okay you could feel the notes you could just you could hear it and you could feel it that's what i'm talking about that's how you know somebody is a good singer if you can feel what they're singing you can feel the song i'm not talking about oh you can feel the words but you can feel them singing it with so much emotion so much passion that's a good singer right there like he he was absolutely <laughs> sensational <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of backstory. Jesse was born in Gary, Indiana, and he got his first break in his early 20s after a music producer saw him perform at a local talent show. He ended up signing to a record label, and it released his first album in 1996. Throughout the mid to late 90s, Jesse enjoyed some moderate success, but he really hit his stride with the release of his 1998 song, You, which rocketed to number two on the Billboard R&B charts. His second album, Bout It, was certified gold after it shot number 15 on the charts. Jesse also won high praise for his four octave vocal range. He retired after his fourth record release back in 2003. Jesse was 51 when he passed, RIP. My prayers go out to his friends, his family, and also if he had any children. I looked online and I didn't see anything, so I'm not sure about that. But yeah, guys, 51 is relatively young. So I'm um, not sure exactly what the cause was, but by the looks of it, it doesn't seem as though it was just simply from natural causes. I feel like that might have just been easier to mention. You know, when someone dies peacefully in their sleep, it's like, yes, it's sad that they're dead, but at least they died peacefully. You know, when someone kind of has like underlying problems, that's when it gets hard to talk about exactly what caused their death because it's kind of like a reminder, which which definitely sucks. But yeah, guys, um, if you have any more information on this, like perhaps cause of death, feel free to leave it in the comments because I have been looking high and low and I have not found anything on that. But yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way you're notified every time I post. And in the meantime, please be careful out here. Please hug your, hug your loved ones so tight because like I said, 51 is pretty young and you, you know, you might not think that like a 51 year old is finna be like gone, you know, like one day you're here, one day you're not. So yeah, just appreciate and love your family and your friends. Okay, love you. Bye.